What according to you is one of the most frequently asked question by students wishing to study for a PG course in Canada? Number 1. Should I take the GMAT or GRE? Number 2. Is IELTS better or PTE? Or number 3. Which college should I choose? Any guesses? None. The one question 9 out of 10 students wanting to do a PG course in Canada ask is Masters or PG Diploma? Well, let me give you 5 solid reasons why you should not pursue a Masters. I already made one video on why you should not pursue a PG Diploma and that link is in the description box below. And if you want to know which one you should choose, post your profile in the comments below and I will tell you whether you should choose a PG Diploma or Masters. So start commenting. Reason number one, if you have a three-year undergraduate degree. Well, for a master's in Canada, you're usually expected to possess a four-year bachelor's degree. And if you don't have one, I will recommend you to go for a PG diploma. There are a few universities that will accept you with a three-year UG, but options are limited and mostly comprise of business degrees. A PG diploma will serve you better. Reason number two, if you have scored a 6.5 in IELTS. Well, many universities will accept you with a 6.5 for masters, but given the volume of applications received by Canadian universities, you may or may not be able to secure a place as a large number of applicants with seven bands or more are preferred by many universities. Always keep a backup option of a PG diploma if you have less than seven bands in IELTS. Reason number three, if you don't have work experience. Well, this is especially true for MBA degrees. PG diplomas do not need any work experience and will be easier to get admitted into. They will instead offer COPE options that will allow you to gain Canadian work experience whilst you study, which will help you getting good jobs after graduation. It's a win-win situation. Reason number four, if you don't want to sit for GMAT or GRE. Well, for many students, taking the GMAT or GRE can be a challenging task and they prefer skipping them altogether. There'll be very few universities that may not require or waive off these tests, but many will still require. If this isn't your thing, a PG diploma will suit your needs better. Reason number five, if a career in academia and research is not your true calling. Well, PG diplomas also offer plenty job opportunities after you graduate, so don't think they won't help you to land your dream job in Canada. Plus, if you don't want to go for a doctoral degree in the future, PG diplomas will be more than just fine. Also, for more info on studying abroad, sign up for Leap Scholars free study abroad masterclasses with me and other experts at Leap using the link in the description box below. And oh, by the way, I also posted a video on why you should choose a master's in Canada over the PG diploma. Have you watched it yet? It's right here.